Today we're making a pizza video for all you naysayers out there. I don't want my pizza to take that long. I don't want to make something that I have to plan way ahead for. I want to make an easy pizza the same day. Blah, blah, blah. Well, are you in luck? Because today we're making same day sheet pan pizza, also known as grandma style. And we even have a special guest. Drum roll, please. My Gam Gam. Ow! That's Grandma Pizza Pirate to you, Aaron Samuel. I'm sorry. I meant to say Grandma Pizza Pirate. You better be. <laughs> Today we're going to show my grandson how to actually make pizza. Like my schnookum, grandson Aaron had to say this is the same day recipe. I got bridge club to be at. I don't have time to sit and make pizza all day. Okay, sweeties. Here we are with our... Warm water, we got 414 grams, but I don't, back in the olden days, we didn't have that kind of measuring stuff. So we got one and three quarters cup warm water. Hey sweeties, to our warm water, we're gonna add two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast right into the bowl. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little whiskey. And it should foam up on you. If it doesn't foam up on you, throw it away. And we're just going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, while yeast is resting, we got to crush tomatoes. And to our crushed tomatoes, we're going to add in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Around right into the can. We're gonna go with some kosher salt. Maybe about a teaspoon. And my favorite ingredient, we're gonna go with some garlic. Now if you don't like it, just don't add it. But the boys at the nursing home sure like when I taste like garlic. Now we're gonna go right in with the garlic. Let me grab a spoon. And we're just gonna mix it up. We got a little bit outside of it. That's okay, Grandma's clean the messes. And give it a little taste for salt. Just like my grandma used to make it. All right, we got our mixing bowl ready to go. For all you folks that don't have a mixer, I'm gonna be mixing this by hand. <laughs> okay, so we got 500 grams of all-purpose flour sprees that grew up in the old days like me. We didn't have a scale. So this is about four cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and we're gonna go right on in to our, into our flour with our yeasty water. We're gonna add in our salt and our olive oil. We're gonna mix it up real good. Just for you, sweeties. All right, got our salt. For our salt, we got kosher salt. And for our salt, we're doing two teaspoons right into the dough, okay? And for, we got some extra virgin olive oil. Don't call me a virgin, though. And we're going to take that, and we're going to put that two teaspoons right in to our dough. Now, let me grab one of these spatulas. All right, we're gonna start to fold in. Okay, we formed it into a nice little shade dough. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and knead that by hand for about 10 minutes. If you got a mixer, go ahead and knead it 
for about five minutes. Okay, we're gonna need for about 10 minutes. Got my hands a little wet, cause this is a sticky dough. Almost 80% hydration. And we're gonna turn and fold for about 10 minutes. All right, sweeties, we've been mixing for about 10 minutes by hand now, and this dough is much stronger. When I turn it, it, it stays together now, and when I hold it up and do the window pane test, I can hold the dough, and you can see through it. And that means it's ready to go. Okay, sweeties, now that our dough is ready to go, we're gonna go into our pan right now. So I got a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna go straight onto the pan right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my dough and get right on that there pan. Yeah, come on out now, baby. Okay. Now I'm gonna work it to the edges a little bit and let it sit, okay? And now because it's sticking to my fingers so bad, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my fingers up so it don't stick so bad. Just a second now. And there we go. Boy, what a difference that makes. Little water trick, okay? And it's not going to stretch out fully right now. This don't needs time to relax just like Grandma here. So, why don't you go cover this up for a pan for about two hours. Or you can cover up with a little plastic wrap. Put your feet up and have a, see yourself a little cocktail. Alright, it's Grandma here. We've been waiting for about two hours. The dough's been resting. And I already pulled this once to the edge, but if you need to see how to push it to the edge, I'm going to show you. Alright, if you need to get it to the edges, you're going to go ahead, you're going to reach under it right here. And you're just going to pull to the edge until you get all four corners in the edge. And I already got it nice and set up now. So what I'm going to do is just like a focaccia. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my fingers in there. And I'm just going to dimple the dough just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit like that, nice and light, like a Pagasha. And then we're gonna go preheat our oven for 500 degrees and we'll cook it. Okay, the dough has been resting for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our toppings on it now. First we'll start with our cheese. I got about 12 ounces of shredded mozzarella. Don't buy the pre-shredded. It's got starch in it. Your pizza will taste terrible if you use it. Make sure to use fresh shredded mozzarella. Going on with it. Yeah. I'm gonna go all the way to the edges with this mozzarella. Make sure you cheese it up nice and good now. All right. We got all our cheese on, okay? Now, we go ahead and we dollop up that tomato sauce on there. Now, you don't spread it like a normal tomato sauce. When you spread this sauce on, you just get a little bit and you dollop it. And I got about a cup, not sure if we we'll use all of it. This sauce will spread out as it cooks, folks. And right there, boom. All right, now we're gonna start to top it up. Ow. My grandkids only like pepperoni, so we're only doing pepperoni on one half, and we're gonna we're gonna top it up the other half, okay? All right, pepperoni on the whole thing. Okay, we got the pepperonis on there. Now we're gonna go ahead with a little bit of bacon on half of it. Pre-cook this bacon nice and crispy the way I like it. Okay. Now, we got some pepperoni peppers we're going to do on half of it. The other boys don't like it, so we're not going to do it on that half. Right here we're going to go. Then the last thing we have is a little bit of onion going on half of it. Alright, then over the top of it, we got this Parmesan raisin. 
We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it over the whole top of the pizza. Get a little extra cheese on there. Nobody said a little extra cheese is a bad thing. Go ahead and grate this on freshly over the top. That looks good. Now we're gonna hit it all with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Drizzle all of our toppings in that delicious goodness. Okay, now we're gonna go into our oven that's preheated at 500 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. See you then. Okay, pizza's been baking for about 22 minutes, all in all. We're gonna take this out of here. So I'm gonna get in here with my spatula. I'm gonna slide it out onto that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and cut it up. And I'm just gonna go right across here. This is the piece I want right here. I want this corner one. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we got dealing here. Oh, it looks delicious. Steam still popping off of it. Now look at the bottom. We got a really nice undercarriage. We're gonna go on ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. And just like my grandma used to make, this is delicious pizza. Hmm. Make sure you like and subscribe.